What is up guys, it's the Scripting Legend here, and in today's video I am going to be showing you how you can make your very own plugin on Roblox Studios. So the first thing you're going to want to do to make your plugin is, I recommend just opening up a new base plate. This will be the place where you should probably make all your plugins. So instead of making it in the place that you're making your game, so what you're going to want to do is insert a folder into the workspace. This is not necessary, but it's better for organization, especially if you have many more plugins made um, in this place. So we're just going to insert a folder and we're going to call it um, my plugin. Right. All right. So now in this folder, you're going to want to have a script, just a regular script called um, it doesn't really matter what it's called, you just call it main, and in that script you're going to want to have this, um, I'll explain what this is. So basically, this local my plugin is equal to plugin clone create toolbar. This is, um, this is just a, if I go to my plugins tab, basically you see this, um, right here, it says for roundify, it says the roundify thing here. This is what it is, Sterlex, Ster, Ster, Stellrex's plugins and um, so in my script if this instead of being toolbar name would say for that plugin it would say Stellrex's plugins so I'm going to name it to T whoops uh, I'm going to just change that to TSL's uh, plugins right all right and now this local button is equal to my plugin going create button is going to be so now we're in this place that will be the toolbar that will be called TSL's plugins and then we're going to add a button so for me in St Stellrex's plugins I just have roundify so basically here um we just create that button and this is what the button will be called so in that case it was roundify so I'll just call it like um just call it like script oops hold on I'll call it like script generator I'll show you more examples um so now it will be called script generator over here now this place where it says tip the tip is what um what happens when you hover your mouse over it? So for the roundify plugin, it says give square UIs rounded corners. So for us, um, for this example, I'll just do um, quickly generate a script in server. Actually, hold on. In server, server script service. And now this last thing that says RBX asset ID colon slash slash um, this you want to change these numbers to the image that you want it to be displayed. So for the roundify plugin, it's just a square and then an arrow to a rounded square. So basically, um, yeah, that's all we're going to do for that. I don't have an image that I want to use, so. Just leave it at that. And now we do button dot click colon connect function. So whatever, whenever we click this button, then um, whatever we put inside of here will happen. So for us, for whoops, for this example, we're gonna want to generate a script in server script service. So what we're gonna do is we can do like um, we'll do local a uh, new script is equal to a uh, game that's actually no is equal to instance dot new a uh, script um comma uh game dot server script service and then we're going to do new script dot um what was it again? Yeah, and that's all we're going to want to do. So, um, then, 
Yeah, actually, that's it. So we don't even need to make this a variable. We can just do instance dot new script um game dot service script service. Um, and actually, we'll actually keep that as a variable. So let's just um uh, let's just like uh, undo that. Give it back as a variable. Then we're just going to do um new script dot new script dot name is equal to script all right so now what we're going to plug in as we did before all right so here i'm not sure why it, why it didn't take us to this place before but yeah we'll just keep it as my plugin actually no we'll do um <clears throat> we'll keep we'll name it to script generator all right so now that that happened all right, so now all the way back here, I have this plugin called Script Generator, and you see it says TSL's plugin. And if I hover over it, it says quickly generate a script in Service Script Service. So if I click on it, I now have um, an arrow next to Service Script Service. If I drop it down, then it says script. Yep, because that's how we told it to be named. All right, um, so now, as you see, we have no control over it. Um, if we want to go to Surface Script Service or not. Also, if you do it, if you keep doing it like this, like, so if you, you probably, if you might have watched, um, you might have watched my, um, I made a leader stats generator plugin, um, right here, and basically, you wouldn't be able to do that with the, what I just showed you right now. Um, so another way you can do something is you can insert a script or whatever you want it can even be a part so here i'll do a script right and the script will just be like a let's say um we'll just name it to blank script right um yeah we'll just keep it as blank script and basically what we can do in main now is instead of doing this, we can just do um, script dot parent dot blank script colon a uh, clone dot parent is equal to game dot service script service. So that will just do the same thing, but instead of having just this script, it will just basically have blank script in here. Um, we can also do this for parts, so if I had a part in, um, let's say I had a part, um, so this part, let's just scale it up, and we'll make this a, like, a kill part, so we'll, it will be red, and we're going to have a script in it, and the script will just be our kill part script, so we'll do script.parent.touched, colon connect, function, it. If game that players colon get player from character hit that parent hit that parent then um, hit that parent dot humanoid dot health is equal to zero. So now in main what we can do is we can also do um, script dot parent dot part dot part uh, colon clone dot parent is equal to game dot workspace and now I can also make a GUI so let's just do that um, so in starter GUI just insert a screen GUI and this will be um, we'll name it the plugin GUI and then inside of it we'll just have like a frame a frame that just um has that's just its background color is like a light blue and inside of it it has a text label uh -huh. and the text labels name would be like players in game in the background transparency it can be like one then we can do text get to true and font to source to sans bold, text color to white, and text stroke transparency to zero, 
and we can make it say players in game colon. Then inside of it, we can have a local script that says um, while wait uh, do script dot parent dot text is equal to um, players in game colon space um in space dot dot concatenate um hashtag a uh, game dot players colon get players all right so now that we have that um let's just put the frame actually no let's grab the GUI take it out of start of GUI put it into my plugin then in our main script we'll do script dot parent dot plugin GUI colon clone dot parent is equal to game dot starter GUI. So now if we um if we once again just um uh, if we right click on our plugin and click save as local plugin and we name this one will be called um, players in game GUI. Um, so now what we're going to want to do is basically if I go to my plugins tab now and I am all the way um don't know why it's not letting me all right there we go and i'm all the way up back here i have this it still says script generator and it says the same thing because we didn't change that so if i now click on this one then i have this um gui here and if i play it if i play it then let's see what happens Then we have all the functionality we would have had if we just made the GUI completely by ourselves. So this making plugins is helpful and you can see how you can just give something a functionality and then just clone that into the player's new game. Yes, this will also work in if you're in a different base plate, this will still work. Um, so yeah, so before we publish our plugin, I'm going to go into my main script and we're going to, I'll keep it as TSL's plugin, but instead of calling it script generator, I will call it something like, um, how about players in game GUI and then we'll say for the tip, it will say quickly quickly um generate a GUI a GUI that um shows the amount of players in game all right so now um now if i close this and if i right click on my plugin on my my plugin folder and I click publish as plugin I'll put the title to um did I just say um player players in game GUI generator all right and then for the description quickly quickly generate a GUI that shows the amount of players in game. All right, and just set the creator. I'll put it the creator for me and the sales. Um, just turn it on, I guess, if you want other people to be able to get this. And then you hit submit. And it's going to upload. Take a while though. Alright, there we go. Um, just click on this link, I guess. Alright, so here we are.
So now we're in the library, and as you can see, we have this player's in-game GUI generator. We can install it, um, but I think we already have it by default since we made the plugin. Um, or maybe not. So, um, all right, so yeah, we can click install. Um, yeah, just, all right. So it's um, installing that. And also what I'm gonna show you is that this does work in other base plates, just so that you know. So if you wanna get my leader stats generator plugin, which is very helpful, um, I'll leave the link to that plugin in the description. It currently, let's see, currently has zero thumbs up, so make sure to give it a like. And favorite, it has seven favorites. Um, yeah. Alright, so I think we're good now. Alright, so here we are. Alright, it was completed. So I'm gonna just open up a new base plate in this Roblox Studios tab. And if I go to my plugins now, once the base plate loads in, All right, uh, you can see that I now have a plugin that says, I'm looking for it. And I have a plugin that says players in game GOI and it's TSL's plugin. And if I click it, um, you can just click allow. This is just so that like the scripts going into your game from this plugin because we have scripts in our GOI and stuff like that. I'll just click allow since I know that I made this plugin. And um, then you just have to click it again so that it works. And you see my GUI is now here. And we, if we hit play, and wait for it to load, um, players in game is one. So as you see, guys, uh, making plugins is very simple, and that's how you do it. So please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out. 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. Also, we are trying to hit 250 subscribers by the end of 2020. So please do that, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.